Crafters! It's Amanda here and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's tutu, I'm really excited about it because I feel like this project has so many applications. And I know I say this about a lot of projects, but this one I think is really fitting for this time of year. And what we are going to be making today is tissue paper pom-pom. So why are these great? So first of all, Memorial Day was last weekend. We've got Flag Day coming up. The 4th of July is less than a month away. So this is a super easy, super awesome 4th of July decoration. Here's a cute little hanging patriotic pom-pom made of tissue paper, I don't know what you would call this, decoration that I made. So this is just one idea of what you can do with it. Super cute, I think, super easy to throw together, and I'll show you the tutorial in just a moment. Another great idea with this project is to use it for VBS decorations. So VBS is coming up at my church in just a few weeks here, and we're doing Lifeway's Game On theme. So it's basically sports. We're decorating inside of the church with sports and athletic stuff. So using this idea of a tissue paper pom-pom, you can make pom-poms like cheerleader pom-poms to put on the wall. So I've got one here and this will go up on the wall. And also I plan on showing a bunch more videos that have to do with decorations that I'm doing for VBS. Like for example, the balloon arch behind me, which I think is like super cool. I'm so happy with it. But I'm gonna be doing a giant one inside the church. So when I get to work on that, I'll definitely put together a video for that. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. But anyways, this is a great project for a vacation Bible school, decorating for the 4th of July, decorating for a sports themed birthday party, just decorating in general if you're having like a summer luau kind of party or cookout or whatever. So it's a super cute project and it's great for so many different activities and events. So let me walk you through how you actually make these. So first off, let's gather our materials for this project. Since we're making tissue paper pom-poms, obviously we're going to need tissue paper. You're also going to want a pair of scissors and either fishing line or wire. I'm going to be using fishing line because I think it's nice because you can tie the middle of the pom-pom and keep the line attached so that way you can create your garland or whatever you're going for. I think it's just easier, but wire will also work. And I'll explain the wire or the fishing line in just a moment. Now what I absolutely love about this project, okay, actually there's a couple things. First off, this is literally all you need. Tissue paper, scissors, fishing line, or wire. So that's really simple and nice because you don't have to gather a million things. Also, tissue paper isn't that expensive. You can get a pack at the dollar store, or if you save tissue paper that's from gifts you've received, then that's a great way to cut back on cost also. The next thing that I really love about this project is it's very forgiving. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is when using the tissue paper, it's gonna get crazy crumpled anyways. So if you make a mistake, it's really easy to undo because all that'll happen is you'll unfold it, there'll be crinkles left in the paper, so what? And it's not a big deal. Another thing is it's also really forgiving as far as measurements go. When you do this project, you can cut out specific sizes. And if you wanna measure out your specific size, what I've seen people do is a two to three ratio, meaning this side, for example, would be say 20 inches and this side would be 30 inches. So whatever the one side is, to get the length for the other side, multiply it by 1.5. So it's a two to three ratio. However, if you don't want to actually get out the tape measure, that's totally okay too, which I'm not going to be getting out the tape measure. Just to give you an idea, with this garland here, I didn't bother measuring, I just kind of guesstimated. So all my pom-poms are slightly different sizes on this, but I think it just adds to the character and personality of the decoration. So all that to say, you don't have to be super precise in your measurements. You can be, and if you'd want to measure something out, I would recommend doing a two by three ratio rectangle to cut out all your pieces, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. Instead, if I have my whole sheet opened up here, I'm going to fold it into quarters. So I can fold whichever direction I want first. I'm gonna fold it in half this way. Line up the edges and make a nice crease at the bottom. Which when it comes in the package, it might already kind of be folded into quarters, but likely it won't be lined up very well. So I'm refolding this just to make sure I get nice, crisp, even edges. And then I'm gonna fold it in half the other way. And now I've got it folded into four. You can see I've got a thickness of four sheets right here. And that's all I'm going to do with each of my pieces of tissue paper. Really simple. You can see that my edges really aren't lined up super nicely, so it's very forgiving if they don't line up perfectly. And I'm going to do that same process with three sheets of tissue paper. So here we go. I've got my three sheets of tissue paper all folded up. And what I want to do is I want to cut them so that way they're individual sheets and there aren't any of these edges and corners folded here. So to do that, I'm going to open them up 
one on top of the other. And then from here, I'm going to refold them into fourths. I like to fold them into fourths individually first, just because it can be a little tricky to get all the big three sheets of tissue paper lined up, so it just makes your edges a little bit easier to find and to fold along. Take my whole stack and go in half this way, and in half the other way. So now to cut this apart, I'm gonna first come to this side here where there is an edge where the edge is folded. I'm going to take my scissors right along in there and just slice along to the end. And so I'm able to cut through all the sheets at once. And then I'm gonna to come to this side where I still have some more folds. And I think I need to do two cuts here. I'm gonna come in the middle of this section and cut along the edge. Again, these don't have to be perfect cuts, don't need to be exactly identical. And now I should have a total of 12 sheets of individual tissue paper cut out to my size. You might wanna to check to make sure, just look at all your edges and look for any curves if you're not sure if you've cut all the folds. But once I do that, I now have this nice roughly even stack of 12 sheets of tissue paper. Now again, as I said, this project is very forgiving. So I have some edges sticking out, that's totally fine. Also, you don't have to do the same number of sheets and thickness. The more sheets you do, the fuller your pom-pom will be. Like this one had about 20, so it's very thick and full. Whereas this one, I think I only used about eight because this is gonna go against a wall, so I only really needed half of it, and I want it to be looser. So the less sheets you do, the less full your pom-pom will be. For this one, I'm just doing 12, just because that's the arbitrary number I decided. <laughs> now the next thing we want to do is fold our paper accordion style, and I'll show you what that means by that. The one biggest thing to keep in mind when we do this next step is what direction we're folding, whether we fold this way or this way. The way you know how to fold is I set my paper so that way the long edge is along the bottom and the top, and the shorter edges are on the sides. And then I'm gonna start folding from the bottom. So no matter what size your paper is, you want the longer edge on the bottom, shorter edges on the side, and you wanna start folding from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my whole stack of tissue paper and fold it over about an inch or about an inch and a half. Again, if you're doing a bigger pom-pom, you're gonna wanna have thicker chunks, but if you're doing a smaller pom-pom, like when I made these ones, I made them very thin. So for this one, I'm gonna do um, my folds about an inch thick. So I just fold over an inch, and then flip the whole thing over. And then I'm gonna fold back of the same thickness. Flip it over towards me. Fold away from me crease it, flip it away from me, fold towards me, crease it, flip it towards me, fold away from me, crease it, flip it away from me, fold it towards me, crease it, flip it towards me, fold away from me, crease it, flip it away from me. And now I'm at my last fold, fold it towards me, and crease it. So you're gonna have now this nice stack that, this is what I was meaning by accordion style. It has that kind of like fan or accordion style look to it. So the whole thing is folded up into this nice long chunk. So I'm going to leave that sit there and now it's time for my fishing line or my wire. Yep, there it goes, it's accordioning open, accordioning, I don't know if that's a word. So I've got my fishing line here and I'm just going to cut off a piece that's about 12 inches here between my fingers. If you want to make a long garland, you don't have to cut your fishing line, but I'm not planning to make a long garland out of this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my fishing line. And of course, you can also do this with wire. So I'm gonna fold this back up. I'll zoom in so you can see here. So what I want to do is I want to find the center of this stack. A really easy way to do this is to just fold it in half and create a nice crease in the middle. It can be a little weird looking just because it's so thick and you're folding so many layers. But I'll fold it in half like that and then reopen it. And that crease right there is going to roughly be the middle of my pom-pom. And I'm going to take my fishing line or wire, if you're using wire, and tie it around the center of this tissue paper fold. Tie this several times just so it's very secure. I'm also leaving one end longer so that way I have an easy way to hang it up later on. All right, so I have this 
tissue paper accordion with some string or wire tying it together in the middle and we're almost done. Now there's one last thing we need to do before we fluff it and that's cutting the corners. So there's lots of different ways that we can cut this. We can either do just a rounded cut and that will look like this red one. We can do a sharp pointed cut which will look like this white one. Or I can cut downward and create this fringe look which will look like this blue one and that's also how I did this pom-pom looking one. So for this one, I'm going to cut sharp corners. So I'm just gonna keep this folded in half, come with my scissors and cut, I'm gonna cut pretty deep in here, and cut out to the edge. It can be a little tricky to cut through all the layers at once, so make sure you're using a sharp pair of scissors to make that step easier. Then turn it over and do the same from this side. I have a nice peek at the end and do it on the other end. So now that I've cut my ends for the pattern I want, all that's left to do is to fluff it. So what I want to start off by doing is on each side kind of opening the accordion. So the center is going to stay tight, but I'll pull the edges out wide. And then I'm just going to start by taking one layer at a time and pulling from the end, pulling out all the way to the middle just like that and standing it up. So I'll do another layer right here, grab the next sheet of tissue paper and just pull it out. So I'm going to keep grabbing sheets of the tissue paper until I've gone through halfway of this stack. So my thing, it's 12 sheets of paper thick, so I want to pull up six of these sheets of tissue paper. That's four, five, and six. And this last one I'm going to leave kind of towards the edge. I'm not going to come up as high because it's going to kind of be out on the side. And I'll do the same on this side. And then flip it over and do the same on the side. All right, so it's probably looking a little crazy right now, but now that I've plotted all my layers, I just want to fluff it and get them arranged so that way it looks nice and full on all sides. So like here on the sides, I'm gonna pull some layers up this way more. Pull more back this way, just go around and fluff it to fill in wherever there's gaps. And there we go, now I've fluffed this out and I have this nice giant pom-pom decoration that I can hang up wherever I want to for decorating whatever I need to decorate. One last thing I'll show before I get to the end of this tutorial is how to achieve the cheerleader pom-pom look. So with the big blue one that we made, we cut points. With the red one here, this is a variation on the blue one where instead of cutting points, I just rounded it out. But to get the cheerleader effect, this one's a little trickier to understand without seeing it, so I'm gonna just demonstrate really quick for y'all. So here's one that I folded up. I actually folded this instead of having the long side my way and the short sides on the side. I had the short side on the bottom and top and the long sides on the left and right just because of the look I'm going for because I want this to be flat on the one side like this one. Anyways, let me show you how to fringe it so it has the cheerleader pom-pom look. I'm gonna come to the end here and you're gonna take your scissors and cut straight into the tissue paper. Now you can make these as thin or thick as you want and you can make them as deep or as shallow as you want. I'm gonna go fairly deep just because I'm trying to really get that pom-pom effect. And I'm going to just keep cutting them all the same thickness, same depth into the tissue paper. My scissors are a little dull, so that's making this a little trickier here. But here you can see how I fringed it, how I just cut slits going this way. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And now that I've got it fringed, I'm going to open this up just as before. If you're going for a cheerleader pom-pom that you're gonna put on the wall and you want the one side to be flat, I'm only going to pull things up on this side. I'm not going to pull any layers that way. So I'll fluff this really quick.
So you can see I put it all to just one side so the one side is flat, but that's how this different style of cutting the edge with the fringe gives it more of a cheerleader pom-pom look. So there you have it. Now you can make fun pom-poms out of tissue paper like these. Super cute for decorating. You can see I've tucked some into my balloon arch. Here's the giant one that we made today. I might hang this up somewhere in my room or I might just wait until the 4th of July comes around and I'll hang it up along with a littler garland. But it's a super cute project that doesn't take much time, doesn't take much effort or much materials to throw together and yet it adds so much cuteness. Like seriously, look at this. It's adorable. I love it. So I'm going to be making some more of these for VBS at my church. Like I said, it's sports themed, so I've got these two that'll go on the wall like cheerleader pom-poms. Super fun. Let me know what you're going to be using your tissue paper pom-poms for, whether it's for a VBS or whether it's for a birthday party or whether you're just decorating around your house just for fun. I'd love to hear your ideas on how you're going to use these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and join my following of crafters. I post videos every week on Tuesdays. I post my tutorial Tuesdays and then throughout the week there's other random stuff, just bonus videos mixed in there. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on those and don't forget to hit the little bell down there so you get notifications for when I post new content. But this is what I've got for today's project. Definitely keep an eye out for some more VBS themed and summer themed craft projects. Also, like I said, the balloon arch is going to be awesome. I'm super excited to show you guys how I made that. So you definitely don't want to miss that one. Keep an eye out on my channel. That'll be coming out soon also. But I hope you all have an awesome week and happy crafting. Okay, so look at my face here. This is the story of what happens when you're a redhead and you accidentally leave your makeup in your parents' car and then they drive off and then you go to film and you want to put makeup on, except you only have your mom's makeup. Now, my mom and I have very different skin tones and as a pale redhead, her makeup on me, I feel like it just makes me look like a redhead with a really bad fake tan. See what I mean?